So in this video, we will see what other equations uh, that can be reduced to homogeneous equations. And so you know how to solve the homogeneous equations. We will see what are the other equations and also you have seen uh, some simple equation uh, that can be reduced to homogeneous equation. So in this video, we will see what are the other kind of equations that can be reduced to homogeneous equations. Also further uh, we define uh, what is exact differential equation and uh, we will learn how to solve, how to integrate them. That means how to, how to solve these exact equations sometimes directly by integrating or by a method, okay. So we will see that. So we had uh, reducible to homogeneous equations. What we have chosen is simple form earlier. So we can, uh, we can have some function of that form a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a2x plus b1, b2y plus c2, okay. So how do we solve this where f is, f is a function, certain function. So you follow the same procedure, you look for x, y as in new variables for some h, y as some new variable y plus k. Okay, so you have this transformation, then you reduce the left hand side as d new variables dy by dx equal to some f of a1 big x plus b1 big y by a2 big x plus b2 big y. So if you repeat the same thing, so what earlier we had only without f is 1, f of x equal to 1. Now we have general sum f of something, the whole thing as variable, so this general f, it can be square of this, it can be anything. Only thing is, if f of this, so inside is homogeneous, if f is also homogeneous, if, if it can take it out, if you, when you replace kx, okay, so if you reduce this into this form, now if f of a1 kx plus b1 ky divided by a2 kx plus b2 ky. If you can write this sum k power l times f of a1 x plus b1 y a2 x plus b2 y, then it is a homogeneous. Then Then, then the equation is homogeneous. So we can solve, we can proceed, okay. So I will give you an example how we solve, we'll go ahead, how we apply this method, example. So let us do this example, solve dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 x plus y minus 1 divided by x plus 2. So this whole square, let us take like this. You can see inside, inside is of this form, f is 1 by 2 x square, okay. If you can, if you want to recognize like this in terms of f, f of x equal to this whole thing is x, here I have 1 by 2 into x square, the whole thing is one variable, you view it as an one variable. So anyway, so use the transformation as usual, you look for x equal to x plus h, y equal to new variable y plus k. These are the new variable x, capital X, capital Y. You want to fix some h, k, some numbers, so that the right hand side of this equation is homogeneous function, okay. Can we do that? So if you if you want to do this, what happens? With this transformation, we the equation becomes what we have seen is dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 this square. What do you have? Capital X plus capital Y plus H plus K minus 1. What did I do? So I replaced X by capital X plus H, Y by capital Y plus H, Y plus K. So this is what I have. So bottom also the denominator 
we have capital X plus H plus 2. So, now I choose my H k such a way that H plus k minus 1 equal to 0 okay, and then H plus 2 equal to 0. So, what is the transformation? What are the numbers I get that solves this? H equal to minus 2. So, that makes it k equal to 3 H equal to minus 2. So, this is the solution of this that makes it 0. So, if I choose my H equal to minus 2 and k equal to 3. Okay. So, that implies my transformation is capital X minus 2 y is capital Y plus 3. So, this is my transformation the equation becomes dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 x plus y by x whole square. Clearly, when I replace kx, ky, kx, k square comes out. So, it is homogeneous function. So, this equation now homogeneous with this transformation. Okay. With this transformation, a given equation becomes homogeneous equation now. So, we will solve this homogeneous equation now. So, what is the step? So, we have to write this right hand side equal to. So, let me remove this equal to. So, 1 by 2 x you take it out will become 1 plus y by x whole square. Okay. So, x square x square goes this is what is your differential equation. Okay. So, now you choose y by x equal to v new variable as usual. How do we solve in, new, in the procedure to solve the homogeneous equation? We have chosen capital Y equal to independent dependent variable equal to some new dependent variable v and independent variable x. That gives me dy by dx big variables equal to v plus x into dv by dx. Okay, which we know equal to dy by dx equal to half plus 1 plus y by x is v 1 plus v square whole square equal to okay so so this implies dy by dx which is v plus x into dv by dx which is equal to I'm just replacing here so left hand side dy by dx I replace with this and this I will replace half 1 plus y by x is v y by x is v so I have half 1 plus v whole square. So, this will give me x dv by dx equal to 1 by 2 1 plus v square. So, 1 plus v whole square minus v. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 common. So, 1, 1 plus 2v plus v square plus 2v and minus 2v for so this. Okay. And this, this goes you have 1 plus v square by 2. So, this implies you can see that now the equation is where separation is, you can easily uh, our variables are separated. So, you can easily reduce dv all the v variables you can put this side equal to x variables you can put this side by x 2 x 2 is there and then so you can integrate Inter integration gives again tan inverse v equal to 1 by 2 log mod, a, mod x plus arbitrary constant so I call it half log c c is arbitrary log c is also arbitrary half log c is also arbitrary constant okay why i did this so that i can easily simplify this as 1 by 2 log c mod x okay so this implies 2 tan inverse v equal to log c mod x this gives me 
tan inverse V, V equal to 1 by 2 log C mod X okay. and then you take a tan both sides this is what is your general solution of the equation this. Okay, so, this is, is dy by dx square. So, still you have to put in the new variables uh, in the, this is in the new variable. So, v is v is given by y by x y by x big x equal to tan of half log c mod x mod x this implies y of big x equal to big x times tan function of half log c mod x ok. Now, bring back to original variables capital Y capital X is small x plus 2 capital Y is small y minus 3 you put it small y is y minus 3 capital X is x plus 2. So, tan of log C x is capital small x plus 2 with mod. So, this is your general solution if you really want equal to 3 you can bring it this side and write it like this. So, this is your general solution of a given equation in the variables small x small y. So, this is this is the equation we reduced into homogeneous equation and then we use the method to solve the homogeneous equation homogeneous equation finally, use the transformation brought the new old variables to get the general solution of the given equation as this. So, this is how we solve e some equations which are uh, which can be separated when the variables are separated in the, when you have the differential equation uh, dy by dx equal to f of x y. So, this is the form you have general differential equation of first order when f of x y is when you can separate these variables x and y you know how to solve when f of x y is a homogeneous equation you know how to solve it or know how to find the general solution. And some form when f of x y is having certain form like I have shown in the earlier earlier method where you have this form you know how to solve you know how to reduce them into homogeneous equation and then solve it. Next uh, what we do is this is actually you can write it like f of x y into dx minus dy equal to 0 right. So, in general we can write m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equal to 0. So, this way also we can represent some first order OD ordinary differential equation we can also see that we can also see in this form. when I have like this form if I can write this m dx I do not repeat m of x y. So, I will write simply for simplification I write m m dx plus n dy equal to say some total derivative of this is a function of x y dx n is function of x y dy. So, I want this to be the derivative of total derivative of some function u of x y if I can write like this ok and what is the differential equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So, m dx plus n dy equal to total derivative of u of x y which is equal to 0. So, that means that is easy right I can simply now I can easily I can simply integrate this equation. Now, the equation is this if I integrate integration gives u of x y equal to simply constant. So, this is your general solution. So, what is that I did when you have a differential equation 
put it in this form m dx plus n dy this if I can write like this du total derivative. So, what is the total derivative of a function d of u of x y. So, that is uh, you write d u which is this is a function of two variables. So, it involves dou u by dou x partial derivative into d x plus dou u by dou y into d y. So, this is the form you have this is the form equal to 0 for some function u of x y. If this is your differential equation that means this is your m this is your n n and m and n if you can write like this form for some, with some function u then you can easily integrate directly integrate. For example, y dx minus x y equal to 0. If you want to solve this y x dy if you, want, if you want to solve this equation there is nothing you can do. So, you can is already separated variables are separated this I can easily put it in that form. So, how do I write this? I can simply write y dx minus x dy divided by y square I can write if this is 0 this is also 0 provided y is not equal to 0 in those domains. Okay. So, you have to consider the domain of the differential equation where y equal to 0 is avoided. So, the, what is this one? This, this now the equation is this this I can write like this is actually the derivative of x by y equal to 0 just like in this form total derivative of function of x y where u is x by y equal to 0. So, you integrate you will get x by y equal to constant as a general solution right general solution directly. So, some equations you can directly integrate that is what it means you can write you can uh, take the differential equation see whether you can write it as a total derivative of some function. So, you can integrate. So, such an equations are called exact equations. Okay. So, this is one example I can give you one more example. So, I can give you one, one more example if you want to solve a little complicated but you can do x dy minus y dx equal to x into x square minus y square dx let us say you have this you want to solve this again you can do this same way you can nicely put it in the form so, how do we do this? This, this is uh, with common sense you have to do. So, you first uh, take this right hand side x you take it out inside this root. So, you will have x square this x with 1 coming out x is coming out. So, it is going to be x square square root of 1 minus y square by x square equal to x dy minus y dx. If I divide with x square I remove this I put it here. So, this is what is the equation now. Now, what is this one? This is total derivative of y by x equal to 1 minus y by x square. This also I can integrate. What you have is something like du equal to square root of 1 minus u square. Do not you know how to solve? So, u equal to integral. 1 minus u square right. So, or rather sorry uh, du by square root of 1 minus u square equal to 1. So, you integrate both sides ok dx u is function of x y. So, this is simply your uh, what do you have. So, this is the total derivative right sorry wait. Uh, du is this. So, you simply integrate both sides with respect to u. Okay. So, what do you get? u is function of x y. So, 
total derivative of u. So, this will give me if you integrate u equal to integral of square root of 1 minus u square sorry. So, d u by square root of 1 minus u square equal to I miss d x here. So, you have a d x have a d x. So, you have a d x. So, this is equal to d x. So, now you integrate both sides you get what is this integration? Integration of this plus c. So, this is uh, this integration we know this is this means sin inverse of u, u is y by x equal to x plus c. So, I got the general solution directly by integrating. So, this way, so some equations you can make use of this total derivative. So, you can write part of it you can write it as a total derivative of something or full equation you can do it you can, so that you can integrate. So, when you integrate you can easily direct, direct integration will give you this. Okay. So, I will give you what is called exact equation. So, we will define what exactly. So, if we can find such a u function so that you are you are given o d you can put it in this form d u equal to 0 then you say that the given differential equation is exact. So, let me define first what is exact equation exact differential equation. So, definition an equation is said to be exact an equation m dx m x y dx I will always write now onwards for any exact equations I will write the equation dy by dx equal to f of x y I will put it in this form m of x y into dx plus n of x y into dy equal to 0 is exact. If there exists if there exists there exists a function u of x y satisfying or u of x y such that I can write this left hand side as a total derivative of that m d x plus n d y equal to d u. Okay. That means, what is d u? d u is dou u by dou x d x plus dou u by dou y d y. You can easily compare both sides. You can get m as dou u by dou x and n as dou u by dou y. So, this is what it is. So, this equation is said to be exact if these m and n you can write like a partial derivatives of some function. Function is x, two variables x and y. This is the definition you start with. Once you have this, we have a result. This is the solution procedure. So, now we consider the equation exact equation. Suppose you have a given equation is exact, that means this is satisfied. Immediately what you can say? Dou m by dou y, which is dou square u by dou y dou x, which is equal to dou square u by dou x dou y. Assume that u is satisfying this, u is this uh, mixed derivatives are continuous this is equal to what is this dou dou x of dou u by dou x dou u by dou y is n dou n by dou x okay if m dx plus n dy equal to 0 is exact implies this is what you get that implies dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x. Okay. If an equation is an exact, you have this result. It so happens that if this is the, this is if this is true for the given differential equation and the equation 
will be exact. So, simply converse is also true, converse is also true. What is the converse? If dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x, then the equation m d x plus n d y equal to 0 is an exact equation. That means, if this is true, then there exists some u. I should be able to get, right? This is the definition. So, you have a definition here. If it is an exact, so you have this is true. So, I will be able to, so when something is exact from the definition, I will be, then I can write m equal to dou u by dou x n equal to dou u by dou y for some u of x y. If this is true, if this is true, this should be true, that is what is the meaning of converse. So, we have to show such a function exists. Okay. So, you assume that such a function exists, if it exists, it has to be m equal to dou u by dou x, you start with that. Okay, m equal to dou u by dou y, dou y or dou x, dou x. So, what is m? So, you can integrate both sides. If you integrate, so u is function of x, y, m is function of x, y you integrate both sides with respect to x, with respect to x, we get integral dou u by dou x of x y into d x equal to integral m of x y d x plus some arbitrary function of g, g of y, where g of y is an arbitrary function. Okay. So, a small digression here. So, whenever you have, a, you are integrating both sides and the a domain is not specified, you are simply using indefinite integration. So, that you are writing as a constant, if it is the only variable of x, you simply integrate plus integration constant c. Because you have another variable, so g of y is also constant in that sense. You can also do, you can see you have, so that means once you have this equation, this is an equation, differential equation, you are integrating. There is an underlying domain. So, in that domain you pick up you pick up a point. So, in your domain x and y, x naught, y naught, you can always pick up. Pick up x naught, y naught. Normally you choose it as 0 to in your problems. If 0 is 0, 0 is involved, you can you can choose as your point x naught, y naught as 0, 0 origin. Otherwise, general x naught, y naught, which is in, in your domain where the equation is defined. So, I use definite integration from x naught to x, x naught to x. Okay. If you do that, I do not have to write this arbitrary constant. right? If I do the integration both sides as a definite integral, I need not write this arbitrary function, but it will come naturally. So, this implies u of this is only dummy variable x, you can write also t t t. So, u of x y minus u of x naught y equal to x naught to x m of x y dx. Okay, you can see this one, this is function of y, x naught is fixed. So, this is an arbitrary function because u is the solution, u is the solution of this differential equation u is a 
u is a arbitrary function. So, when you have arbitrary function, this is the constant which you have, this you are calling as g y. Okay. So, this means u of x y equal to integral x naught to x m of I can choose this x as dummy variable t y d t plus u of x naught y, x naught is fixed. So, you call this arbitrary function. So, g y where g is arbitrary function. Okay. We have seen what is the exact equation and uh, we are seeing the converse part of it. So, we have seen what is the exact equation and uh, we have given the necessary condition uh, when it is exact. And then uh, to see the converse, if you check that condition, the same condition, whether the equation is uh, exact or not. That means, once you check that condition dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x, you want to you want to see whether you can get a function u of x y such that that makes a derivative of that should be your differential equation du equal to 0, whether du equal to 0 is your given differential equation. If you can do that, if you can find such a u and it is called, uh, then it is uh, that means the converse part is done. We will continue this in the next video. Mm -hmm.